Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the CDC uh, through Confront Open Source Kafka. And um, we are going to use the Debezium um, through which we are going to use uh, the MySQL server. So uh, for that, I'm going to show you all the steps, um, but this video is not going to be uh, too lengthy. In fact, uh, I'm not going to give uh, a lot of detail with regard to the steps which we are going to follow. But uh, as we are starting this uh, demo, um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff. Uh, so this is the connector we are going to use uh, in order to connect with our uh, MySQL database. And uh, as we are going to use the confront in Docker, so what I will be doing that I will be creating my custom Docker file. And uh, you see, I'm going to install this uh, Debezium connector in order to connect with my SQL database. Okay, so um, what I've done here, I've already um, built it and I've posted it to my public repository. So you don't have to, um, uh, I mean, and do this step uh, if you want to do if you want to build a custom image you can do that but you can pull this image and um, what i've done here so um, uh, you can take my docker compose yaml file and simply do docker compose up, uh, up hyphen d so all the containers uh, are going to be up and running so uh, in this docker compose uh, yaml file if you navigate to the connect section, you see uh, this is the uh, image I've built it for you. So if you want to build it, you can use your custom image as well by installing that particular connector. So um, uh, one thing I need to tell you that uh, this is uh, completely open source. Only uh, the control tower, uh, which is actually control panel, a panel of the Kafka, which is the paid version or the one which you have to pay, uh, which which you have to buy a license for that. So um, if you don't want to use that simply, uh, I mean, I'm going to provide all this uh, documentation uh, to that. So if you navigate to this document, uh, what I've done here, I've actually uh, removed that and I, uh, I'm i calling uh, this particular Docker Compose YAML as lightweight Docker Compose YAML, uh, open source, no control tower. So simply copy this uh, till uh, here, okay? So uh, you can uh, use this. So uh, here, um, you, if you navigate to, uh, Quick, um, if you navigate to connect, uh, you have to simply uh, update this. So this is uh, the uh, Kafka Connect JDBC for MySQL, but we are not going to uh, cover, I'm not going to cover this uh, in this demo. So my aim is to uh, deploy the um, Debezium and in order to uh, uh, connect with my, you know, my SQL. So let's begin. Uh, what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to simply um, show you uh, the demo uh, in Play with Docker. I'm going to start this lab and then I'm going to show you uh, the open source version on my EC2 machine and uh, you can use your own laptop. So first of all, we are going to cover this uh, demo uh, by using the play with Docker. So what I'm going to do is to simply copy this SSH key and I'm going to take a shell in that particular uh, play with Docker. So let me zoom in a bit for you guys. So simply paste it and I will be uh, in this particular box. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create uh, one Docker Compose YAML file. Docker Compose. YAML file. Okay. So 
as uh, you know this is the demo and what i'm going to do is to simply copy this uh, docker compose yaml file and paste it here and what i'm going to do i'm going to simply use one command docker compose up hyphen d so it will take a little time i mean all the containers uh, will be up and running including the control tower as well so um, the advantage of this uh, is that you will be able to see that your uh, connector is up and running and uh, you will have a better idea to you know learn and understand how things are going to be so now we are going to cover the other part uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to create my remote my sql instance okay so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to take one shell into this particular box as well okay so uh, let me bring the keys as well ec2 dash user and i'm going to simply um, copy this ip address this is the ip address of this um, amazon linux box and simply i'm going to ssh into this and i'm going to install docker in it so i mean this is a fresh uh, box so what i'm going to do uh, simply install docker in it sudo hyphen i and um, yum install hyphen var docker okay and i'm going to spin up my sql container in this as well i mean the configuration are not going to be too long for the debezium one thing i need to tell you that um, you have to use the custom um, my sql file and as far as the documentations uh, is concerned i will be providing all the links relevant uh, links which are going to be really helpful for you guys um, in the uh, in the code as well i mean um, uh, all is going to be available in our github uh, public repository so these are the documentation and, and as far as the custom uh, mysql file so this is by Debezium itself. We are going to use this. So uh, why we are using uh, this custom file that um, we should have um, a login enabled for our uh, backend MySQL server. So that is why I'm using custom file. So even uh, you don't have to create it yourself. Uh, the settings uh, of this, I will be showing you guys uh, in the doc as well so uh, this uh, is the second uh, these are the sorry settings and um, i'm going to give you a little read about this uh, that uh, we are going to create one volume in this and let me show you uh, step by step so first of all i'm going to simply system ctl do system ctl start Docker. Okay, I'm going to enable it. So this is our remote server. Okay. So if I do system ctl status docker, you see it is up and running. So um, we are going to cover these steps, and and I will be providing all the all these docs uh, to you so what we are going to do we are going to create a custom volume you can give any name but we are going to use uh, mysql2 so uh, this volume is created and i'm going to create one directory on my root okay and if i paste it here uh, one directory is going to be created if i do ls so so this is the custom file this is the exact same file i've shown you a moment ago 
So simply I'm going to echo this and oops, uh, I'm going to copy this. So you have to simply copy this uh, till here. Okay, so it is going to create this um, custom MySQL file which we are going to use with our MySQL. So simply press enter. If I do ls and if you navigate to uh, this dire directory MySQL2, if I do vim, so this is the same file uh, I have shown you guys. So you don't have to, you know, do all the stuff. Uh, so as the sake of the demo, I have already uh, created uh, one command. So just uh, I'm going to update the four and simply I'm going to copy this and I'm going to call this container MySQL2. That would be fine. And these are the uh, root credential. Uh, it is going to create my MyDB, okay, uh, which is the custom uh, database or yeah that would be fine so um it is your choice you want to create uh, or not so but we are going to create this custom database the root password is going to be cloud geek ca 2021 i'm going to create one user asem and let me drag it a bit more for you guys so the uh, password of this is going to be this is going to be uh, the super user so the password is going to be same for this uh, demo cloud geek ca 2021 and um, we are going to create a custom uh, i mean we actually created this volume we are going to use the uh, persistent volume for uh, my sql um, database and as far as the configurations uh, are concerned we are going to use this uh, root my sql to directory and in that particular file I've already shown you that I've created my custom CNCF so simply I'm going to uh, copy this command and I'm going to paste it here so it is going to pull uh, it is going to pull the MySQL um, image from the docker hub uh, repository this is the official MySQL 5.7 version uh, I'm going to deploy it and then I'm going to check if everything is working fine or not uh, i mean your container should be up and running so docker logs hyphen f my sql 2 oops my sql 2 here is the name of the container so yeah it says it is ready for connection uh, so this part is done okay so uh, now i'm going to uh, go back to my live docker and if I click here 9021 you will see the paid version of uh, confront uh, control center is going to be available in few mo uh, moments so uh, with regard to that part um, this shell is going to be you know uh, I mean freeze if you uh, do not do any activity for uh, I guess for one minute so what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to take another shell so simply what you have to do um, navigate to this section and copy this uh, oops, uh, copy this SSH okay so this is our EC2 machine and I'm going to take one shell okay uh, in that particular docker so just I was uh, just want to show you that everything uh, there is running you can do docker uh, compose uh, ps so you will see all the processes or containers are up and running and this is the connector I was talking about so we are going to use this and we have used the um, the PZM uh, in that uh, installed so it is pulled uh, my QuickBooks 2018 the PZM uh, from Docker <coughs> excuse me so guys uh, if I navigate to this section and uh, uh, if you navigate to clusters navigate to connect so if you click uh, uh, click on connect uh, you can add connector and i'm going to upload one file here you see this is a mysql uh, connector <coughs> excuse me 
so as far as the mysql uh, connector json so this is the ip address of our machine this is the password and uh, this is the server id and uh, you can see these settings in um, let me show you that in custom mysql Uh, see. So these are the second uh, settings uh, which are the by default uh, you don't have to change I mean as this the, this is the demo so um, these are the setting I've uh, provided so um, uh, connect is going to connect with the broker 2092 as far as the environment variables uh, why is I'm giving this 2092 if you navigate to this Docker Compose XAML, and if you simply uh, navigate to the connect section, and you see uh, this broker is going to connect with two zero, uh, sorry, two nine zero nine two. So uh, same stuff uh, uh, is provided here um, uh, in the JSON. So what I'm going to do is to simply uh, import this file. Uh, if I navigate to the control center and if I navigate uh, to this uh, uh, confront division, I'm going to click it. And uh, if I click continue, it is going to check my configuration. Okay, see, uh, it has actually validated and I will try to launch it. If everything goes well, then it is going to, uh, uh, I mean, say your, uh, my SQL connector is up and running. So let's try. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. So uh, it says running, but you have to check as well. I mean, it this thing uh, can go uh, goes down. So uh, I'm going to do um, Docker logs hyphen F to connect. So this will show you all the logs. Uh, with regard to the connection okay so let me um, zoom in a bit regarding this video so this is this is the cloud geek c a connector committing flushing and um, so uh, it seems that everything goes well it is able to connect um, with our uh, remote uh, my SQL server so guys uh, these are the settings uh, you can do with it so I've shown you everything uh, with regard to the connector how to uh, build your custom I mean you can install your own um, package and simply run it so you see it is able to connect with my remote uh, connector so uh, this is it so you see it is up and running so and the logs are already uh, seems looking fine so uh, that is it guys uh, I'm not going to you know definitely go uh, going to give you a lot more detail with regard to the CDC stuff but uh, this video is going to help you in a way that uh, lots of people do struggle uh, with regard to the CDC setup. So um, I find that um, by, um, I mean, watching my videos, you will be able to easily, you know, make connection with your uh, custom uh, MySQL uh, database and uh, do connection with the Confront open source version. So guys, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. Please like, share.